This instructional video was designed to show you how to determine thermodynamic quantities, such as the free energy, enthalpy, and entropy under standard conditions, given a reaction and a data table with the thermodynamic quantities in them, and at the end determine whether or not there is an equilibrium temperature. So the first thing necessary is to balance the reaction, and we can tell by looking that this one is not. So we will need to have four waters, two moles of carbon dioxide, and four moles of hydrogen gas. So now that this reaction is balanced, we'll be using those stoichiometric coefficients and the final steps. But first, we have to get a table of data and copy that into here. So our first values are copied over. It's 241.82 minus 393.5. And the enthalpy value for hydrogen gas is zero because it's in a standard state. Next are the uh, delta G standards. 209.2 minus 228. 7 minus 3, And the delta G standard for hydrogen gas is also zero because it's a standard state. Then finally we have the entropies. So now that we have all of our values in our data table written out, we can apply the stoichiometric sum of products minus the stoichiometric sum of reactants. And up first is delta G. So to get the stoichiometric sum of products, we will need two times the values we have for CO2 and four times the value we have for hydrogen. So this is 2 times minus 394.4 plus 4 times 0. There's our products. And now for our reactants, uh, we just have 1 times our C2H2 and 4 times the value for our gaseous water. So if we simplify this all the way out, we get a value of negative 83.72 kilojoules per mole. We use the same thing for delta H and delta S. So we look in our delta H column and for our carbon dioxide, 393.5, 4 times 0. And we're going to have 1 times 226.77 plus 4 times negative 241.82. So we have stoichiometric sum of reactants minus stoichiometric sum, uh, sorry, products minus reactants. And this should all come out to minus 46.49. Kilojoules per mole. And finally, at the bottom of the board, we're going to do the same thing for the entropy. And so this will be uh, 2 times 213.6 plus 4 times 130.58. Minus for our uh, reactants, 1 times 200.8 and 4 times 188.83. And so when we simplify this all the way out to get a value for our delta S, we get 123.98.
And so the important thing to see here is that we've now got our values for delta G, delta H, and delta S. And what we have to do next is determine whether or not there's an equilibrium temperature. And so we'll recall that delta G is delta H minus T delta S. If delta G is zero, the system's at equilibrium, and that means that delta H has to equal whatever that equilibrium temperature is times delta S. And so our equilibrium temperature then is going to be this quotient. But temperatures have to be positive. We start at absolute zero and go up. Delta H has a negative sign. Delta S has a positive sign. So in this case, there is no equilibrium temperature. Does not.